Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Apologies in advance, first of all, for this very, very, very late video. I have been really, really busy with Syra. She is going through teething at the moment, so she has been having a few restless nights, and I've just not been able to get around to kind of giving you guys an update about our holiday. A uh, bit more drama about when we went on holiday. Unfortunately, my husband decided that he would only take one adapter for charging our phones and cameras and stuff like that. So it ended up being that the camera that I was going to be using didn't get any charge and I wasn't able to, to take the footage that I wanted to um, for you guys. So I thought I'd do it like a more of a verbal update. So for those of you who aren't aware, we went away for our first little family holiday with Syra, who is just uh, going on to six months now, but went away a couple of weeks ago. And we went away for seven nights to Tunisia. So what we actually booked was a all-inclusive resort. And we decided to do that because with a baby, it would we thought it'd be very, very difficult to kind of get out and about if we didn't do that. So if you guys haven't already checked out, I had, did do a video for what I packed for Sarah when I went away with not knowing, you know, what I would need or anything like that. And I have to say, you know, apart from a few things, I did pretty much need everything that I took. I, you know, the main thing I probably over uh, packed was vests, um, but I did end up using her cardigans and sort of the sleep suits for when we were sleeping um, th for, through the night. Now, the reason for that is because we had the aircon on in our room and for a little Syrah, it was just getting a little bit on the cold side. And we, when we went, um, I did actually tell you guys that I had ordered some milk from Boots, which I picked up from Manchester Airport. What I didn't actually realise is, however, that through security, they would allow us to take whatever through for baby and they just kind of put it through separately. And I probably, in hindsight, um, would have probably prefer to just get it beforehand and put it in you know between the two suitcases that we took and now the reason for that is because what ended up happening is after we passed through security when we got the um when we picked up the milk we ended up having two carry bags plus um change and bag pram as well as our other hand luggage and it just ended up being quite a few items to carry uh because uh, you know when we got the gate we um we had to give our pram in and it meant that we had to carry the rest of the thing. So I think because I wasn't aware that, it would, you know, they would allow so much through, um, I think I would have preferred to just buy it there, like, you know, beforehand because we had enough allowance anyway. But that's just my own personal preference because I know a lot of people out there um, do kind of tend to order it from the boots and pick it up. Um, another thing we actually did is, which I forgot to completely mention to you guys on my other video, is we bought a cheap um, pushchair. So it was actually £35 I got from eBay, it's by Hawk, and it is it was the best investment that I did for the holiday, and it's because it was so lightweight, and it had a little pocket in the back, so you know, put my little bits and bobs in, her toys, and it had a really decent basket underneath, and it just folded up really, um, you know, easily. And obviously, with us being in that resort, it helped when we were walking around, going to the restaurant, doing things like that. And even when we were, we decided to go out and about, we just took that little pram, and it was the best thing. What I actually also invested in was this extended um sunshade with like a mosquito net attached to it and that was ideal because on the evenings when we decided to actually go and sit on the out, uh, outside get a drink I could actually keep her covered um, and even during the day because there were a lot of flies and things near the pool and if she fell asleep I would just put her in the push chair and just cover her and it's still like sort of um, ventilated so it's not like you know it's not closed off or anything but I'll I'll put a link down below of both the pram and the little cover thing that I bought as well. Um, so Sarah was actually um, very, very good on this holiday. She absolutely loved it. She was in the um, pool for, you know, with her dad, with me. We went swimming. We put her in that the little float that I bought her, which again, I'll put a link below because that 
is really really good and it just meant that she can move her arms and legs freely without us holding on to her and she was happy um i'll put some pictures at the end of this video just so you guys can have a look as well but honestly if you if you are thinking of going away with the little one i would try and time it before you start weaning and the reason i say that is because when we were away um uh, they 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 give us bottles, like two litre bottles of water, which were ideal for baby because I checked the sort of contents. And again, I'll put a link below of what to check in the water when you're away because um, that really helped me to check, double check that the it was fine for what they were giving us at the hotel. But because your baby is you know, just having milk, whether you're breastfeeding or whether you're bottle feeding, you know, if you go between before six months, then you've got nothing else to worry for, be, be, worry about because you're just preparing yourself for the day as you normally would here. And for me personally, if I started weaning, I would probably be a bit more nervous and I'd probably be a lot more paranoid about what I was feeding baby uh, because I wouldn't really have the sort of freedom to prepare the meals myself or I'd, I'd be ended up you know I'll end up taking a lot of like jar foods and stuff like that which may um I'm hoping that I will be preparing the things myself for Syrah but again it's obviously all personal choice but you know it's not as scary as everyone makes out to be when you go away with the baby at the end of the day they can't I mean she's only just started learning a sit, to sit up now but they can't exactly walk they can't do anything you're still carrying them you've if you take a sling with you it's absolutely fine and you've still got a bit more control and if they, they fall asleep a lot more through the day um so in that sense you know if you if you really want to have some sort of family time try and get it in you know by six months if you have the opportunity to do so and then you know obviously we've got a lot more to look forward to with babies now being able to roll over and sit up and grabbing things and doing things like that so you know the next holiday I'd probably think is gonna be inshallah in the next probably which is about one or two years old we're just confidently walking but I don't know, um, because that's another scary thought. Because how are you gonna, how am I gonna control her from like when she's running around? So you've got to kind of just really enjoy it as much as you can, don't you? But yeah, so I mean, all in all, we enjoyed our holiday. It was really, really nice. We we kind of timed it where, you know, we would go out for to the markets and stuff like that. You know, in the mornings because Sarah was up in the morning, but it was generally a bit more quieter then and. Yeah, so it, it's been fantastic and I'll put some pictures um, at the end of this video and any um, links for items that I actually took away with us below. And if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. I will be putting on a review of, sort of what I've used over the first six months um, of baby and being around soon because... I am going to be moving Sarah out of this little crib because as you can see she's getting quite big for the little crib so I am going to be changing that soon and yeah so that's about it and I will inshallah speak to you guys soon. Assalamu alaikum bye.